Hello, so we are going to go through question seven here. It says, the wheels on Charlie's bike have a circumference of 1.5 meters. When Charlie is riding fastest, the wheels rotate at a speed of five turns per second. What is the fastest speed Charlie can ride his bike in kilometers an hour? All right, so let's talk about this. The first thing I would do is just kind of reflect upon the fact that we're told that the wheel has a circumference of 1.5 meters. So let's just kind of draw a simplified version of this. We've got a wheel and the circumference. Now the circumference is the distance all the way around. So the circumference is going to be 1.5. Now, instead of drawing it like this, let's just kind of unstretch this. So I'm just going to draw it like that. So you can imagine I've just stretched out this wheel. Now, what we're told is that when Charlie is riding the fastest, the wheels rotate at a speed of five turns per second. So this right here represents the distance he travels in one rotation. So in one rotation of the wheels, we go 1.5 meters. Well, when he's going the fastest, he can go five of these per second. So let's draw five of these. Let's pretend they, they're all the same length. They, they are all the same length. Let's just pretend my bad drawing, they are all the same length. So each of these is 1.5. So there's five of them, one, two, three, four, five. And we know that he can travel this speed in one second. Now, when it says, what is the fastest speed Charlie can ride his bike at? Well, it's clearly going to be the maths behind it. You wouldn't have to draw this diagram. The maths behind what we're doing is, well, it's going to be 1.5 times five to get the distance in which he's traveling. So if I was to do that, if I was to go 1.5 times five, I'm going to get 7.5 meters. So in 7.5 meters, he can, he moves 7.5 meters in one second. That's what we know. He can travel 7.5 meters in one second when he's going his fastest. Now, I can't leave my answer like that because it wants it in kilometers per hour. So at the moment I have minutes and seconds, so that's not what we want. So let me write this as seven meters per one second. So I'm just kind of writing it out slowly. And now I need to change this to kilometers and I need to change this to hours. Okay, so first things first, let me change this one second into one minute. To do that, you have to ask yourself, well, how many seconds are in a minute? Well, there are 60 seconds in a minute. So I would times both sides by 60. So 7.5 times 60, use your calculator, is 450. 450 meters per one minute. But remember, we don't want one minute, we want one hour. So how do I go from a minute to an hour? Well, I just times by 60 again, because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So 450 times 60 is going to be, there's a big number right there, 27000 meters per hour. If I was to write that as a speed, it would be this meters per hour. Now, I need this to be kilometers. Well, if I if it's 27 2700 or 2, sorry, 27,000 meters, if it's 27,000 meters, I know to get this into a kilometer, I'll divide by 1000. So that means I'm going to be left with 27. So I just divided by 1000 there. And that's my answer. 27 kilometers an hour. Now, the next thing we need to do for part B, it says, how far would Charlie travel in five minutes at this fastest speed? So I need to calculate it for five minutes. Now, would you agree that this speed that I figured out isn't gonna be that helpful because I've got it in terms of hours. But if we come up, we've got this one right here. Now, this one's helpful. This is 450 minutes per, sorry, 450 meters per one minute. This one is great. And the reason why it's great is because it's really easy to go from one minute to five minutes. So why wouldn't you use this one instead of using that one? We would have to muck around with this one for a while, but here we have this. Now what I wanna do is I wanna get this to five minutes. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm gonna times by five. And I'm gonna times this side by five. So I'm gonna get 450 times five, 
which will be two to five zero meters per uh, five minutes. I can change this into uh, kilometers. I'll divide by a thousand. So it's going to be 2.250 kilometers and I don't need that zero. So that means my answer is going to be two kilometers, two and a quarter kilometers. So either of these would be acceptable. It's just the textbook writes it like that. So I'll show it to you like that. Hopefully you found this useful. So our answers are two and a quarter kilometers and 27 kilometers an hour. Hopefully you found this useful and I shall see you in the next one.